Hi, I'm Marcella McGowan, and today I would like to demonstrate Live Binders for you. Live Binders is a virtual portfolio which allows users to organize materials such as bookmarks, your favorite URLs, documents, PowerPoint presentations, and a virtual three ring binder. Live Binders is a free web based product. All you need to do is create your account. Click on the sign up and follow the prompts and you will have your account created. Let me go ahead and show you what the account looks like once it's created. So once you put in your username and password, hit login and now it will go from being gene regular generic to now it's showing my binder page. There are many resources and benefits for using live binders. You can easily access your individual binders from your iPad you can add pictures from your iPad or your Android, devo Android device. There is also, this is also great for faculty in which there are students who have iPhones but don't have a Live Binders account. These students also have the ability to save and access to professor's binders. You can also keep your binders private or make them public. Live Binders also has a fantastic question and answer section. It also has a great um, section for tutorials, trainer sections, trainer sessions, and also there's a webinar as well as a Friday Google Hangout session. To assist you in getting started in creating an individual page, take a look at some of the other binders that were already created by other users. You just basically click on the link and just take a look at what they what they have created to get you started. Um, and we'll show you how to create some of these links in a second. As you can see here, this is a link or a binder page for school librarians and common core standards. And basically what you do is just click on each one and each page has its own individual link. And again, just think of this live binder again as a black, yellow, white binder and you just have all these different links inside of here. Now I'm going to show you how to create your own individual page now. To create your own blank binder, again you just follow the prompt. So you just click on blank binder and just put in the name. I'm just going to make something for um, general news. I don't have anything as far as description or maybe description could be you know news links. If you want to put in tags you also have the opportunity to change the different categories, so whatever you want, um, I'm just going to leave it as personal. And remember how I said that you have the ability to make your binder either public or private? This is where you would go in. If you make it public, that means everybody has access to it, just like the ones that's over here. But if you want to make it private, excuse me, if you want to make it public, again, this is everything over here would be a public um, binder. But if you wanted to make it private, again, for faculty or your own individual um, use, you can make it private. And you can also um, have it set up where people that you send a link to would have to use an access key in order to review to view that binder. So it's a nice little feature that you have here. I'm not going to make my bind this news binder um, private. I'm just going to leave it as a public. And you just basically hit the Create Binder. And what it does now is takes you to your blank page and you just get started by creating your own individual tabs. Now my first tab I want to create is for CNN. So I just typed in CNN up here and now I'm just going to put in a URL. So, And I'm just going to go ahead and hit insert. And what it's going to do is embed CNN into my tab. So now I'm going to go ahead and make another tab. So for this one, let's say I want to make, I'm not sure why it won't let me create the um, link for the New York Times, but I'm clicking on this to try to see if I can get past this. So now let me go back to Live Binders and let me see if it created it. So I have my link for CNN, my link for MSN is showing the New York Times. So what I'm going to do is change this name just by hitting over here and just retyping over. So New York, well, New York Times. And you just basically hit close and it's saved in there. APR, 
is here, which is coming up to the Alabama Public Radio. And then my last tab, let's say I make this people. Even though it is not news, it's a different kind of news. So you just click on insert and it's coming. Now, as you can see here, all of my tabs now have different news links. So, and I don't want, for people, I don't want it to show www.people.com. I'm just going to change it to people. And that's all you need to do. And you just save as you go. You have the option to, <clears throat> excuse me, to share your links. You can add it. You can view it. So if you want to put it in the present state or to play it. So if you want to hit play, it automatically goes in and saves. So when your page comes up, now you have a link for CNN, the New York Times. New York Times is just active funny because of the way that they have it in here. But the um, APR, but again, um, I don't like APR.org. I'm going to go ahead and change that. Excuse me. Um, and all you need to do is just hit the edit button to edit that link. So it changes the screen over for you. And you just click here for APR. And you just type in the Alabama Public Radio. And it's basically saved. So again, this is how you have it. And now what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> if you want to play it again, you can do this. Again, if you wanted to share this page or that link with um, your students or whomever, you can just do that. But if you want to save as you're going, you just hit the Save button and it automatically saves from here. So in a nutshell, this is LiveBinder and how you can basically create any kind of resources. So again, we just I just did a demonstration just using my um, links to different websites. But if you wanted to put it in here by making it um, links to different PowerPoint presentations, Dropbox resources, it's entirely up to you. I hope you um, got something out of this presentation. Thank you very much.